You'll notice I've been nodding vigorously with an awful lot of what you've been saying, because I think in terms of education and philosophy, we're on the, we're on the same page. Um, we've been talking a lot about the workforce um, and upskilling the workforce and having the best possible practice. Let's imagine we're in an ideal world. Like, let's imagine that we've got all the funds we need, we've got you know, the resources we need. What would you like to see happen to enable us to have that, that best possible practice and the... Um, most skilled up professionals we could ever have what what with the one thing or two things maybe that you would like to see happen should we start with you please um, yes um, I two two things I sound like I'm repeating myself S sustainable funding for early years education places um, that allow investment in that workforce um, the vast majority of children are in PVI providers and that 30 hours is not covering the cost of them delivering a quality place and they're struggling. And secondly, that career progression from the moment you think about becoming somebody who works in an early year setting right through and beyond to wherever you may end up wanting to be. There are too many barriers and things that stop you being able to move forward. So I think for me those are the two core components that would provide that baseline.